Uh, let's see. I'll try and go over a little bit of what to do around the course, just really basically. So starting, <clears throat> when you're starting, the skipper's job is, aside from all your tactics, you want to keep get the boat um, as fast as possible right off the line, um, as close to the start as possible. So you want to be fast and on time. Um, and we're going to have another chalk talk, and it'll go into lots of detail on you know, what you should be thinking about to, in order to do these two things. Um, being fast is obviously your sail trim, and like Kirsten talked about, you know, right at the start, you want to give it that nice roll, um, just like a roll tack, and it's important to be timing. Um, upwind, so it's also sail trim. For the skipper, you need to be watching both your sails, make sure your main's trimmed correctly, um, and usually your crew will be doing a good job, but keep an eye on them too. <coughs> so, upwind, I think I covered it. Your sail should be, your main should be trimmed in like all the way. Um, downwind, it should be all the way out. That's what should you be doing downwind? Right. Um, downwind. Downwind, your sails all the way out. Your crew's taking care of your centerboard. They also take care of your bang, as Kirsten said. Um, and so you're going to have your sail all the way out. It's going to be powered up. And you, the skipper, if this is your boat, the skipper goes from sitting, sitting here and trimming the main to they slide right up to the, like, the shrouds, the, the, the stays, the wires that hold the mast up. Are right here. The skipper slides like right up to it, and they reach out and they're flying the jib. So at this point, okay, going down. The crew's here, as Pearson described, standing up, and they are holding, you know, one hand on the. Blue and one hand on the mast. The skipper here is holding the jib out. They're holding the jib sheet and they're steering. So you slide, you slide forward, grab the jib, and hold it out pretty much as far as you can so that you have both sails out catching the wind. Um, Do we have any questions? Anything I can go over that would help specifically? <laughs> Skippers, the biggest thing that I always try to remember is always keep the tiller still unless you mean to turn. And there's a bunch of different ways where you can like plant it on your leg or hold it behind you and lie there. And I'll show you more in the season, but that's like the biggest thing that I've found that I've always lost speed on is turning too much. And Leaning over, looking around, it's like driving a car. You have to get used to not moving the tiller when you turn fast. Right, and so that's especially, you can think about that all the time that you're sailing. So um, downwind, if you're just going straight, you can like sit on it or just like hold it against the boat and move it as little as possible. And then when you're tacking, when you are moving it, just be aware of how much you're moving it. So when you're, you don't need a lot to turn. Most of the time, a common mistake for skippers would be to, like, hold the, when you're holding the jib out, you want to make sure that you want to be as far forward as you can and still steer reasonably well, and you want to choke up as much as you can onto the crew of the jib so that you can get it as you know stretch it out as wide as possible. If you've got a foot or 18 inches of sheet coming back before you grab it, you can stretch your arm out and it still kind of balloons out in front. The idea is to make the sails as, as wide as possible. Right. What about roll tacking as a skimmer? Yeah, the mechanics of roll tacking. Okay. Um, this is a, a complicated thing to explain, but basically you're sitting, 
if the boat's going this way, um, actually it's better if it's going that way. Um, <laughs> you're sitting on the rail, so I've got the tiller here, the main sheet in one hand. Your crew, let's see, um, you're going to give it a little bit of roll inwards, and that'll help turn the boat. So the wind's coming from up here, and you give it a little roll inwards, it'll turn the boat towards the wind a little more, and then you roll you like hike out really far. So the skipper's gonna be hiking out pretty far. The crew will be typically in the middle. Um, in medium conditions, they'll be in the middle. And then you'll call it, you can count down, three, two, one, hit. Um, and then your crew will slam down onto the side. And so both of you will be out on the, on the windward side of the boat. Um, you're turning the tiller through that. So for a skipper, you're hiking out, turning the tiller, and when your butt's in the water and the boat's, you know, leaning over on top of you, then you can pull yourself in, um, you get across the boat, and then you, like, you do the, you flatten the boat out. So the crew will also jump up and flatten with you, um, and that's something you have to work out between the two of you. But you, when you transition across the boat, you have the main sheet in your forward hand, tiller in your back hand, and you step forward, you pass the tiller behind yourself, and then take it back here. So you have the main sheet, the tiller, take them back, and then whatever your new backhand is gonna be, so it's gonna be your right hand, you have the main sheet in it, you grab the tiller as well, your left hand is free now, and both of them, you come back, and then your left hand comes around and grabs the main sheet. So, it's really hard to go through without a boat here, <laughs> but basically, whatever your back end is before the tack takes both of the, the sheet and the tiller. So like, main sheet, back behind you, tiller, left hand's free, grab the main sheet. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you and Matt and Ryan can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the other thing is for skip, guys that are just learning how to skipper and roll tack, the most important thing is to make sure that you get the flatten right, because if the timing is off on the flatten coming out, you really waste the, the effort of rolling. So it's like David's going through the motions of switching your hands and stuff like that. Sometimes it might be easier to land on the rail and flatten with your arms crossed up and then switch afterwards if you haven't gotten the hang of you know switching behind your back. But you really want to work on making sure that you get the flatten and the pump out of it so that you can keep your speed up. Yeah, that's true, but I mean, the whole roll tack is, if it's a combined effort between the skipper and the crew, so both of you have to really be working together to to make sure that it's a, a good roll, and you, you both hit your weight on the same side together, and then you flatten together. Because it, you know, one little, roll tacks are really hard to perfect, and one, one little mistake by either one of you will change the, the way you come out of it. So to be fast, you just have to do a lot of them in practice. I mean, it's not so much technique, it's just a rhythm between you and your crew. And once you get the basics down, it's just practicing what you know over and over. Any other questions? All right. So that's all we have for tonight. Um, just make sure you sign up on the Google Doc for Midwinters if you're going, and get a check-in as soon